your 5600 XT just showed up. And now there's rumors that there's a BIOS flash that you need to do. Well, what do you do? That sounds scary. Let's talk about it. Okay, before we dive into actually doing it here, just a quick overview of what this is about. So the 5600 XT was released and it had a BIOS on it that had a set of parameters that gave it a base performance level. As they start to release this, um, NVIDIA lowers the price of their 2060. AMD has got a card now that doesn't really compete with the 2060. So what do they do? They release this VBIOS that will greatly improve the performance of the 5600 XT. So they've got their uh, BIOS flashes available on the majority of the manufacturer's websites that have got these partner boards. And I'm gonna show you today how to uh, actually update your BIOS and gain some additional performance. So let's go ahead and let's jump in and let's do the uh, BIOS uh, update uh, for this card. And this is specifically the ASUS Strix 5600XT06G gaming card. Uh, I love how they add gaming. And then uh, afterwards, I'm gonna show you some of the uh, benchmark improvements that you're gonna see just from the simple thing of updating your VBIOS on this card. Let's dive in. One thing we do want to make sure that we do is we switch our BIOS into the quiet mode as uh, instructed in the uh, direction. So we're going to go to the card and we're going to switch the BIOS switch over to the Q mode first. So I've slid that over and that's now ready to go. And I've done that with my PC off. So I've done that. Now we're going to go ahead and power up the PC and then get into the BIOS uh, setup. I like to start out with the manufacturer's website for whatever card uh, is purchased in this situation. It's a uh, Republic of Gainers Strix uh, 5600 XT, uh, the uh, 06G edition. And so we're gonna go to rog.asus.com. We're gonna go to products and then click on graphics cards. While we're at the graphics cards, um, we're going to scroll down to where it says Radeon RX 5600. Deselect all because I don't want all the rest and just select the card I want, which in this situation is the RX 5600 XT 06G Gaming. Brings up our um, card page, if you will. We're going to go to support. From support, go to drivers and utilities. We're going to click on BIOS and firmware because that's what we're updating is the VBIOS. And we're going to go ahead and save this file. Okay. Next, and what's nice with this, this actually gives you step-by-step -step instructions, which we are gonna follow as well as we go along. So next, we're gonna go ahead and open the folder and we're gonna proceed from here. And one thing I do wanna do before um, we get into updating the BIOS file is I always suggest, and as does anybody else, so it doesn't matter what I guess I say, but <laughs> back up your BIOS. And how you do that is you download Tech Power Up uh, GPU-Z and this is their most current version at the moment. Uh, once that's open up, it's gonna detect what your BIOS is that's on the card. What I'm gonna do is just simply click on this. I'm going to save this to a file, and you can also save it to an online database as well. And I'm gonna save this as Navi 10. Uh, I'm gonna go Navi 10 uh, dash old, okay? And I'm going, oops, I can't type today either, can I? Navi 10 old. And I'm gonna save that in my documents folder. Okay, so it's saved, Navi 10 old ROM. Okay, so now I know that that's backed up. And the reason we wanna do that in the event we ever have to rec uh, recover that BIOS. Now this does have a dual BIOS card, or this, I should say this card does have a dual BIOS. And um, if there's issues, you can always change the second uh, BIOS, go back and reflash, but, this is just a smart way of doing this, uh, in the, especially in the event where you maybe only had one um, BIOS on your card. So, got that done. I'm gonna go ahead and minimize those windows. And we're gonna go ahead and, and open up the file that we created, uh, or I'm sorry, that we downloaded from the ASUS website. Okay, so here we are. We're gonna go ahead and open up the file that uh, we downloaded. And what we want to do is we want to click the executable here. So or open or run the file, basically. And this is the file that we're running. 
And let's give you this mode here. It says PQ mode update if you flash the second mode. Please move the slider P to Q mode, then tap OK button, which we already did. Okay, so I'm going to click on OK. And it says just please wait. The process takes about five minutes. Flash BIOS start. So all we will do is we're just going to simply wait for it to finish. And once this is done, the Q BIOS is supposed to be updated, at which point we will verify that. We will switch over to the P BIOS on the card, do the same thing, and we'll be all done. Oh, there we go. So the uh, BIOS was success, and we're going to update the system, so we're going to reboot it now. And there's a couple things I want to point out here that's really important. First off, obviously, we got our BIOS um, updated, so that, that's good, right? Uh, but I will have to show you a, a comparison. But previously, the, the top clock was 1650, and they've increased that up to 1780 for the, the base GPU clock. The voltage previously was 980-ish millivolts, and now they have it defaulted at 1018. So that's um, a pretty nice base increase just on this card. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to shut this down, and we're going to uh, switch the slider over to the P BIOS boot it back up and then we're going to do the same thing and we should be all done and here we are back into the bios now we're on the p bios and we're just going to do the same thing over again reopen that file and if you flash the second mode please move the slider to p to p or q mode and then tap ok and so what we're doing is we're flashing the second one on because we've already flashed the p we're going to go ahead and flash the q mode now so i'm clicking that and it says up here Please wait. The process takes about five minutes. Last time it didn't, but we're going to go ahead and let it run its thing here. And then in theory, it'll reboot and we'll be all done. All right, pretty quick, probably about 30 seconds or so. It is now uh, completed. So now all I just have to do is reboot the system. And in theory, both uh, uh, BIOS, BIOSes, BIOSes on the card will be flashed now and we should be all set to go. Okay, so that was pretty simple, right? Really easy. So now let's go ahead and let's take a look at what this is doing in benchmarks um, for the performance gain, which there is some. So let's dive in, take a look at those real quick. So there is definite gain. It's worth doing the BIOS update. And since this is sanctioned by AMD, not really much to be too concerned about. Uh, very simple to do. Uh, I'm, I'm glad I did it myself. This card is very interesting in the end. Now with the BIOS update, does it make it worth buying over say a 2060? Well, that's a decision you're gonna have to make. Um, I guess to me, I think uh, the 2060 is probably gonna perform a little bit more, um, especially at a slightly lower price point than this card is. So that should make that decision for you. But at the same time, I'd say go out and uh, see what other reviewers are saying and, and what their opinions are. Anyway, hopefully you liked today's video. It's a short, quick, simple one. If you did, hit that thumbs up button for me. If you didn't, you know what else to do. Hopefully it's not that. Hit that uh, subscribe button for me as it does help the channel to grow and we will see you in the next one. Thanks. Thanks.